hello everyone uh, welcome back to another video uh, in today's video what we're going to discuss is about absorption and exhaustion uh, these two concepts are uh, generally a little confusing when you're new to footprint charts and uh, uh, they do create a lot of uh, doubts in your mind so what we're going to do is we're going to understand what they actually are on the charts and then we are going to uh, dwell into how you can actually uh, use them for your trading which is actually in the end what we are looking for so um, the first thing i would like to uh, uh, tell you guys is the literal meaning absorption is that uh, when the market is going up and at a certain level uh, you see the market doesn't go up beyond that level and uh, uh, in spite of good uh, sell delta or buy delta on the chart something like this what you see here now this is something i've explained in the basics of footprint chart in the previous video in this one we're going to go to go into a little more detail and understand what they actually do and what is actually happening behind the scenes so the key uh, nuance or or the factor that is uh, that helps us distinguish between the two is that the volume uh, that is being traded at these levels whilst an absorption is taking place is generally very high now it can happen at low volumes also we'll just see uh, which is relative to the previous bars it would be higher to the previous bars uh, i'm sorry but it would be uh, i mean on an average it will be lower than what is generally traded during the uh, high volume uh, durations of the time periods for example right at the open right uh, during the first one and a half hours uh, for example from 9 15 to 10 30 or 9 15 to 10 15 you will see uh, generally large volumes transacting similarly after 12 30 the same thing happens and between there is a dull period uh, so absorptions during uh, a volume where uh, which is very very low is not of uh, good concern or you cannot i mean mark those levels and take those levels as references to take a short or a long later on the day so uh, what i mean is uh, you see over here and something after 10 10 you look over here the volume is very low over here so some sort of absorption that is happening here is uh, i mean not of real good concern we'll just understand uh, this chart of friday and uh, we'll see both examples so this is what is uh, absorption and uh, how volume plays a very key role in uh, distinguishing between the two on the other hand what happens during an absorption uh, i mean i'm sorry exhaustion is that the market is going up in the direction so the price is doing the exact same thing but what is happening is uh, when it goes up you don't see any buy delta or any i mean the volumes could be high uh, or uh, same as the previous few bars but what you're seeing is not some initiative being shown by the buyers what i mean by that is that the uh, buy delta or the market buy orders aren't that much so what is uh, in essence that is happening is what is happening is that uh, the buyers have dried up so if you need uh, the market to go up you need aggression from the buyers and how does it happen they uh, provide you market buy orders and the market goes up now at certain level if there are no buy market buy orders and there's just passive buyers and passive sellers transacting so uh, there's no interest now you need buyers to step in and buy at high prices and sell higher for uh, you to take advantage of that position so you're actually hoping for some other party to help you and aid you and take it higher but when you see there is just no I mean activity from the uh, buying side on the um, um, with respect to the market orders or on the footprint you can understand there is a sort of exhaustion that is taking place now what happens during an exhaustion also uh, you would notice this that uh, once a market breaks out for example it shows really good volume it goes up and then at some point you see the activity of the buyers not uh, stepping in now uh, it would go down and you would see this is an exhaustion and the market would reverse but what it is doing is uh, letting the weak hands or uh, letting the uh, sellers think that it is the end of an uptrend they come here and right at the pullback point or right at where the high delta was transacted uh, they will step in again and take the other leg uh, of the uh, up move uh, or rather they would continue the other leg of the up move so it is very very interesting or uh, very very important that you uh, are able to understand what the difference is and what uh, how to trade an exhaustion and absorption so uh, this is quite similar to what we have uh, discussed in the previous video with respect to uh, uh, the uh, max delta and the min delta so so for example if this this is an order which is very high right at the open but you see the delta is uh, 262 but it is not as high as 
uh, compared to we'll see ahead and uh, it's just a little bit uh, of an opening move and the minus 260 i mean plus 262 is not a delta if you compare it to the volume that was transacted here so this is not uh, i mean a very high positive delta you look over here it's not that high the previous bar had minus 541 and the, this one is plus 525 the volumes are good so uh, there is nothing you can make out of these two bars if you look at it this is the friday session so this is very very confusing till this point the next bar we see some sort of delta come in and this is where the uh, I mean the sellers or the market selling uh, comes into place now uh, a lot of times we get confused when you look at this volume that these are getting absorbed and it take the other direction but the market actually moves on the downside so this is what I was talking about now you have to take into mind that when you're looking at absorption and exhaustion it has to be looked at key reference points you don't go around and look in uh, start looking for absorption and exhaustion uh, which we just uh, spoke about it every every candle it has to be at key reference points so when these three candles have happened we know uh, a good reference point for us is somewhere here where a lot of volumes are transacted and uh, what has happened after that is that the market has moved down so this is the first indication that maybe if this does not break in the first 45 minutes or one hour or the initial balance as we call it in the a period on the b period we are looking for something down and uh, uh, we can trade or find trades on the other direction now uh, I what I wanted to show you is uh, an example of uh, now this this bar you can call it an exhaustion of sorts because the market does move up and you see there is no positive Delta or there is no negative Delta even though it is at the highs so what we are expecting is if this had to break there has had to be a push and uh, it had to uh, we'll just see what happens when we go down in the sell side what I mean by aggression it has has to be a positive delta in good numbers it breaks out and then carries on but what happens is uh, you can see there's an exhaustion of uh, sorts and uh, this is at the uh, exact same levels and this has been happening for 15 minutes the three five minute bars which test the same level and then eventually fall down so this is uh, uh, called exhaustion wherein the buyers have not been able to prove that they are ready to take the prices higher yet and the market falls and on the other side if we just go uh, a little bit here okay and uh, you look at these two bars okay now it's happened within the first uh, 35 40 minutes now in this case you look at the delta and the uh, positive delta that has uh, come up what the market has done is uh, look at these negative deltas so over here uh, this area you can see there's some sort of absorption that is taking place on the sell side that is a lot of selling was there and it has all been absorbed and the market moves in the other direction so what we're looking for uh, when we see something and we carry forward this range is when the market uh, comes down uh, we'll talk about the logic that we have to look into and we take a trade uh, of this area uh, I mean this pullback and it goes and then we take a long trade but that doesn't happen so over here there is a sort of absorption you look at this negative Delta and on the other side immediately in the next uh, three five minute bars you see the opposite uh, thing happening on the buy side so if you look at the chart over here look at these volumes compared to the uh, these are all uh, I mean imbalances these orange colors that are showing up on the buy side and look at the uh, positive Delta that has been turning up here the volumes have picked up but uh, there is an absorption that has happened ar along this area so now you're building your context what is the context this is the area where the exhaust exhaustion happened and the market couldn't even reach that point and there is an absorption happen has happened that has happened just below that area not even being uh, we couldn't even test this area and the market has moved down now uh, what why I'm telling you this is when something like this has happened and you have this absorption in mind to take a trade off this is no longer valid why is it because you just seen the context what is what it is telling you that uh, there is a lot of sellers be present at this area so you need some clearance from this area for you to initiate a long it will be a very wise idea to initiate a long only after you see this area being cleared now uh, once the market moves down to this area where the previous absorption was taking place again you see uh, the delta uh, the negative delta move up but this time the market breaks and uh, it doesn't even take out the imbalance area that was formed in this bar uh, i'll just show you so uh, what i'm getting at is you look at the context it's certainly bearish up to this point so what you have to do is after this point the uh, point that was uh, the high delta point over here if you see 
this is your reference point and you can take a shot of this place with a stop loss uh, of if you're looking at I mean an intraday trade not a scalp per se so 20 30 points or 15 20 points will be just uh, this area or uh, here so I mean 45 or uh, 40 you take so 60 would be a stop loss or uh, somewhere this uh, above the VWAP and you take a uh, trade on the other direction one is to 1.5 or something like that and you or you have a reference point from the previous day and you target that so over here it's a clear indication that you can get your 25 30 points because uh, the absorption on the uh, buy side hasn't been tested uh, again and the exhaustion that happened just below above that was uh, has is still in play and hasn't been tested in spite of that of the fact that there were no sellers that popped up at the top they came in at this area which we saw we're in another set of absorption that has taken place so this is our reference point and uh, the context uh, that we have built is until unless uh, the absorption or the selling that came here and finally these are the guys who have absorbed here this point breaks 18 870 which i didn't i think didn't break throughout the day is a carry forward point uh, for the next day as well so uh, this is how you build your context and take trades on one direction so it is just one of the two that you have to do and uh, on choppy mark markets of course your targets will be small and your stop losses will be small but uh, this is uh, one way to use your exhaustion and absorption levels that you find out eventually uh, when you go ahead and see something like this popping up again uh, this is a huge number okay and you see this over here and um, uh, this is a point where uh, just a minute okay so this is the point where you've seen a huge negative delta number pop up and there has been some sort of absorption that has taken place but again when you look at the pullback and uh, you want to find a trade in the long side for example and generally what we do is uh, when something like this has happened it's gone it's proven itself when it comes back we're looking for a trade on the long side but what you have to see over there is when you're looking for one direction is that this this up move has to prove itself what i mean by that is uh, it is not even uh, cleared the last uh, I mean breakdown point which is this one it's again gone up and then there there has been some sort of a little sort of absorption is very little it's of no consequence but you see the bias that have come here at these levels these are probably stops that have got triggered who have taken uh, a short trade here and the market has moved down again and considerably till uh, this point once this is broken so once this is broken what we're expecting next is uh, that the day's low would be broken so uh, there are a lot of things that are in play at this point which tell you not to take a long that is one is it's below the VWAP the other thing is that this day when it started it was below the previous day's VWAP and the previous day was a long uptrending day if you've uh, gone and looked at it and it opened really a uh, gap down on that so uh, if you have seen the market profile videos uh, the spike that has ha happened late in the day on the previous day has all been uh, invalidated so what we're expecting is that the previous day uh, spike up was uh, not true buying so that is why when it opens next what we're going to see is a lot of stops getting triggered on the opposite side and the more market moving down and uh, this is what we spoke about so uh, and this day was a very choppy day in the sense you see such huge uh, uh, sell orders happening market triggering uh, stops again and again moving up not moving up uh, properly and then uh, uh, I mean the pu pullbacks are a little longer like this place and then again market moves in the other direction so uh, a good shot that we just discussed is uh, this imbalance which we saw uh, the selling order uh, I mean the sell that came in here and this was a good pullback that you could have traded over here it crossed the uh, VWAP and you see uh, over here uh, there is a good uh, I mean buy delta on these two candles so if you've uh, seen the previous video so this is another level if it breaks if you are a conservative trader this is the level if it breaks you enter into a short the other one is that uh, imbalance carry forward you see a lot of uh, you see the volume a lot of buyers that have come in here of course these are stops they get triggered and uh, the market moves in the other direction and you can initiate a short right here with a stop loss over here and uh, find a trade with the same logic so uh, this is how you use uh, I mean exhaustion and uh, uh, absorption and uh, make good use of it uh, obviously after that you see the market popping down now uh, what we have seen is one level that we have carried forward is somewhere close to 870 which we just discussed the other level where you see a good pop up and a good uh, buy delta that is a good amount of absorption that has happened is this place 
okay so uh, i will just show you look at these negative deltas over here okay so many bars and look at what the price has done absolutely nothing it's uh, i mean it looks as if it has gone 15 20 points but if you look at it it was in a really good uh, down move and it has absorbed so many orders over here and this one so these are your reference points now why i'm marking them or telling you about this is this point uh, that is this 755 to 740 740 to 55 zone and the zone this one uh, 765 to 775 when you mark them the next day that is monday uh, when you come into the market and you see that uh, the market opens here and comes down here and you see some sort of uh, absorption like this taking place it's a very good trade to take okay uh, because the market has proved itself in the uh, closing hours that uh, uh, there's someone who's come and absorb this on the other hand if the market opens somewhere here in the middle of these zones and it tries to move uh, make a move to the downside you can expect a good uh, 20 30 points uh, more to the downside which you can take on the other side and get uh, a good value for your money or on the other side that is the short side and uh, as we discussed on the other side on the long side if you see uh, the market uh, opening somewhere here testing the zone and uh, showing signs of moving up like we just spoke about you take a uh, trade to the long side so hopefully uh, uh, this video uh, was of some help in understanding what absorption and exhaustion are and uh, how you can play them in your uh, intraday trading uh, until next time bye bye thank you